Hey, what's going on guys? So, we are in it with the first game of SPL9, Barath the Best versus P2, and I understand that this isn't necessarily my, uh, my wheelhouse, however, everyone knows something to know you. I feel like, I mean, if you're here exclusively for RU content, that's weird, uh, because I hop around pretty manically. This is a pretty shit channel, uh, you know all things considered so hopefully you can accept this and p2 rocking some shit that it looks like he would have ran in the previous iteration of spl because i recognize uh that he was at the time a big fan of these uh like chancy pex zygarde type things he was a huge zygarde advocate at the time uh torn i think he was one of the few people using torn though he used this whack uh z fire set that he uh, said broke stall which i believe it doesn't actually if you think about it uh so very interesting there whereas brought the best um pretty hot player right now he's going undefeated in his past i believe two iterations of team tours world cup and snake draft respectively a player that i think is more highly regarded for his playstyle, his building, while certainly not flawed in any significant way, and I'm sure he gets help. I believe he shouts out people like every time he wins, uh, so certainly gets team support, but his team building is just fairly, uh, I guess, run of the mill, one might say. But uh, looking at it, we're gonna see a nice, nice pecs exchange. I'm gonna see, we're gonna see a lot of pecs on pecs, which I think is a trend that people should start exploiting a little bit more. I think that, uh, you know, I, as I'm sure you're aware, is, are a big fan of, like, those those uh, sneak trapping types, you know, the uh, block Pokemon, and I think that, you know, if someone would be able to really hone in on that and focus on that, it would be s fucking dope, um, but I digress. Uh, I'm saying that because Pex gets knockoff now, so even, like, something like Eladio's Pivot is kind of a little less of an option, though we could be seeing Megalodios, a Pokemon that picked up uh, around the end game of the last Snake Draft. I know that the ABRs, uh, specifically Omfuga, was a pretty big advocate of the mixed Latios at uh, Psychic DM Earthquake. We might be seeing a slightly different variant here, just because uh, that variant had, you know, that really reliable uh, Magnezone with which to remove stuff like Ferrothorn that sit on that, but, you know, just something to consider, though it could always be, uh, DD Tyranitar, I think it's, it, I feel like it needs the immediate breaking power of Band, though, to really substantiate games, but, you know, outside the team on, we're looking at a pretty interesting matchup, I think, uh, this Chansey is going to be a little bit of a problem, the main thing, of course, being that it invites to an extent tyranitar almost for free obviously you can throw toxic and you know put a bit of a timer on that but p2 has no crunch resist and going into something like an impish scissor which i would expect it to be given the team um we see that kind of pokemon being really susceptible to getting a defense drop you know those kind of roost cycles obviously it can sort of threaten a T-Tar, but a lot of the time it'll just, you know, play aggressively because eh, it's going to be Defog, or it might not be Defog. It could be SD on a team like this because I forget that Torn now also gets Defog itself. But, uh, hard switch Psyguard. I would be anticipating... <sighs> yeah, I'd be anticipating Bell on the Chansey on a team like this. It's kind of hard to stash, but... Like, realistically, if you're going to make a play like that, rather than, you know, conservatively trying to wither away at it, you know, go to your own pecs, scald it, knock off it, the whole nine yards, you're probably not really that worried about getting the poison. And that is a banded Zygarde. We haven't seen banded Zygarde in quite some time, but that is some pretty darn solid damage. Um... Or alternatively, that is just some really interesting, like, add a boosting Zygarde and a offensive Landorus. I suppose that we can't, like, totally knock that out because, uh, probably Stealth Rocking Jirachi. I mean, obviously, there's a chance of it being, like, a sub-variant, which would be 
mildly threatening, you know, it would have to fish for burns on Pex, but it really has the liberty to do that because Skull doesn't break sub, anything like that. Um, but as far as all that goes, I think that P2 has exhibited himself to be in a somewhat more controlling position in a game like this because his Zygarde responses are few and far between. The fact that his Landorus, his initial switch, took 39, in fact, dying after this next Stealth Rock switch, and if that is, in fact, a standard roll. Ooh! Ooh! Like I said there, that is the, uh, the sneaking in the Tyranitar there. Does it with a lot more tact. I appreciate that play, and now he gets his free-ass crunch. Uh, again, we're anticipating a banded variant here, more so than anything else, and, uh... Uh, I mean, depending on how he's EV'd his scissor, it can potentially both come in and roost safely. You need to run a little bit more speed on that just to, you know, ensure that you aren't getting crept. But, uh, oh, he's going for the edge too. Okay, so that is a bold pex and a... Oh, I, we're really anticipating bold pex standard T-tar. Otherwise, you know, if it's a scarf tar and that's calm pex, that's a wonderful bluff. Doesn't really seem to make sense on this team. I don't know why you'd run Scarftar on a team like this ever, uh, so. Interesting. I... Oh, that's a rough crit. That is a really nasty crit for, uh, P2, because, again, the Zygarde just tears him up, and having that extra HP to, uh, you know, sneak in and not get it ruined by toxic damage. Um, oh, we got a disconnect. Hopefully that's, uh, yeah... No, cool. Okay. Good. Uh Oh wow, he really didn't have a lot of time even starting in. I didn't recognize how much. All right, but um hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about edging there, honestly. Um unless he was like, "Oh yeah, this is absolutely bold max max pex." It just I mean, maybe he was anticipating the Ditto, but I don't feel like you bring in Ditto there, no matter what. Uh, because you know, uh, yeah. I I mean, I guess I thought his angle was he predicted the Ditto to come in on the resisted crunch, but yeah, if that's bold pecs, well, I. I think crunch the play is, I guess, the short of it. Because <sighs> keeping the Zygarde wholly honest is a little more valuable than, you know, only getting a little chip on the dead, or maybe KOing it, honestly, because uh, I think that a major consideration should be given to that it's just Max Max, uh, T-tar. But we are going to see. I mean, really, P2 has no reason not to just go for his uh, Thousand Arrows, pick one up. But that makes the fact of that poison damage all the more painful for him. Uh, still, losing the Landers, you know, maybe not huge per se. Um, for him in terms of, you know, like, there's nothing that was really being done huge to break with a uh, Scarf Landorus, uh, which is now what we're kind of forced to assume it is. Uh, but the notion that he loses a Pokemon that is capable of, you know, coming into that pack, scaring it out, and you turning for momentum is pretty big. Uh... Though, of course, bold pe or bold pecs, yes, has much less liberty, you know, trying to stay in on the uh, no special attack Zapdos for a little bit, you know, just fucking around with it, fishing for those burns, getting that key chip. Though, again, on this team, it isn't as necessary because, uh, you know, Chansey just sits on it. But, uh,. Yeah, I don't see P2 sacking this, because, you know, 
yeah, just trying to sneak this in on Jirachi, which I'm assuming to be Stealth Rock by this point in the game, or Pex, and just picking another KO up is really nice for him, as well as, you know, just the general notion of death fodder, should the game come down to that, and, you know, T-Tar sneaks in for free. Are we gonna see a prediction, or, okay, okay. So, he is, in fact, the Megalodios, as predicted. Um, I think there is a reasonable shot that this is uh, HP Fire. I think Chansey Double is prudent. Yes, there it is. Nice playing from P2. He's really, you know, keeping his game nice and tight. Um... What we could see here is a double scissor, I think would be really nifty, uh, trying to, you know, sneak it in there, but nope, okay, we're just seeing the, uh, as anticipated, a bulky Jirachi 24, showing that it is max HP, and I would imagine, again, that this is just a Spadef variant. Goes for the Iron Head, um, oh, he's, ugh. yeah, I mean, I get the notion behind Wish Tech tier on a team like this, but I just still don't feel like I'm a fan of it. Um, that's fine though. Goes for the risk free hurricane, you know, you can occasionally just throw that trying to fish a little bit, but I think at this point you just kinda call it quits. You don't want your torn getting burned at this point in the game. That ship would accrue real fast. He's t uh oh, even toxic, though I think that he after that recover was not going to risk so I'd rather have just gone for the Scald broadly. Um, all the same though, here is that Pex on Pex exchange that I was alluding to before because really what does either team want to switch into Pex if not their own Pex? There's, uh, you know, Latios, which uh, it's there, but I don't know. Uh, he's going for the Scald. Does he get the burn right away? He does not. And are we going to see a T-Tar double? That would be sick. Um, and especially on a team like this where you can't uh again the pex is shown to be heavily physically defensive to the point where it can't you know do any cheese shit and uh just try to stay in here when you technically don't risk dying to anything bar a crit you know scald again um so i'm not sure what we're gonna see here but the prudent play i think is just psychicking to condition um rather than just making the double immediately. I don't think that Barath has any huge reason to. Obviously, though, that means that it would just be all that more, you know, aggressive and unexpected of a play to make. So, take it that what you will, but I think that, you know, just going for that safe psychic is the move at this point in the game if you really just want to play it safe. P2 really thinking about it, though, because, you know, obviously... If he manages to sneak in the T-Tar on the Chansey again, that'll be fucking brutal. And I <laughs> I say that in part knowing that uh, BKC is also narrating this very game, and uh, fuck him. So. <sighs> I hope I remember to edit out the uh, Discord beeps because I am, like, doing that 60% of the time or some shit. Oh, he makes the middle ground of Torrent takes 5 million percent because that is not Assault Vest. Uh, it is Defog, which I was touching upon earlier, and I thought was a little bit more substantive uh, with SD Scissor, which, you know, I I don't care for Defog Scissor. I understand it's a necessity answer and things, and obviously, you know, it's, like, sturdy as fuck. But it technically just like doesn't beat any hazard control, so it's just a weird situation where it's uh, not that great, in my opinion. But yep, does make the chancy play, and uh, he's good. He's playing it nice and conservatively, not going to T-Tar, risking you know taking a chunk on what could have been viewed as a okay chance for an S toss. Not great, but okay. Ugh. I'm going to see the pecs come in, and, uh, okay, so he is purely that, and I guess that begs the question of, what the fuck is his stealth rock, is it, 
like scarf stealth rock landers. I know that we've seen that uh, theorized to an extent, but even less viable, I think, in this meta now that we have uh, the very splashable defoggers of you know opposing landers and Gliscor. You know, it's much easier to just you know hard switch those into that. But he does get the skull burn as anticipated in the long term, and uh, he's trying to fish. But nope, uh, P2 is having none of it. Uh, what can we expect here? I think that Breath is really fine to just throw Scalds, whereas P2. Oh, he is going to Latios here. That's interesting. I yeah, because P2 switches Chansey, and this prompts him to. Uh, you know, Take the S toss. Yeah, I don't know about that play. Um. Oh, I forgot to. I uh, neglected to mention that the fact that uh, Jirachi showed protect does limit the Zygarde's feasibility because it can no longer say switch in on a you know double in on predicted Jirachi and get his free hit off because it'll just protect and die off to poison. Another result of that. Deceptively nasty crit. Um, bearing this in mind, I think that it might affect how he plays with it as a death fodder. It'll only sneak in on the pecs, which is still good because, um, you know, I think Zapdos is the most expendable member of uh, Barath's team, and even that's still pretty useful. And, uh, you know, pecs, of course, doing that pecs thing. What with uh, burning every fucking Pokemon. Um, and yeah, it goes for the Toxic Spikes there. Not really gonna prompt anything, but okay. P2 is trying to get some... <laughs> can't talk. Um, some value out of his own Ditto, knowing that this matchup kind of really doesn't do much for it. It was a really interesting Pokemon for just how hit and miss it can be in games. You know, against an offense, it can be absolutely brutal because it just like stifles every setup in a fairly meaningful way. But right now, it's just, you know, uh, I guess this is kind of like an okay Pokemon to switch in this one time and throw an attack out. And I mean, on a level, yeah, it's gonna. Oh. Alright, yeah, yeah, no, like I said, that's fair, uh, provided, again, what Zapdos, Zapdos is the uh, least viable, or the least uh, valuable part and member of Barath's team, and, ugh, this is just gonna be a fucking slog, isn't it? Uh, this is why I kind of was questioning whether or not I should record this fucking game, but that's all right. That's okay. Um, let's see. How valuable is this? I think that P2 should be uh, going for this angle, which is significant for its ability to run the... Oh. Oh! That's fucking wild. I did not consider that, but all right. Um, so that's something for sure. Very nifty. Uh, but I have to question the wisdom in throwing that immediately rather than trying to say, uh, you know, S-toss a few more times, try to burn up its recovers. Uh, because, hypothetically, if that happens, he can, you know, the loss of Chansey is much more, uh, redeemable, maybe? Yeah, that's probably a good word for it, um, because now, obviously, he picks one up, great, uh, but then he brings in this Latios, and switching into it's a fucking bitch again, uh, which is what I would be most concerned about from his perspective. So, what I think might have been a better angle here would have been 
S-tossing to burn up the recover PPs, and once that's been achieved, uh, trying to wear things down with packs, and then you know wait until the uh, late game to spring that healing wish. Though that is the nature of the game, we'll see how it plays out. But I think that that might be uh, a pretty tough one to work him out. And he does choose to sacrifice the. Pex there. I think potentially... Uh, I don't know. I feel like with Chansey gone, his best sack was the Jirachi. Because uh, it doesn't really do all that much when it's not being able to, you know, like, pivot into the Chansey, get those risk-free uh, wishes off. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if that's the move for certain um but he does reveal himself to be at there and does he i mean he has to be sd at this point so that might just be it yeah so that boils down to that again and obviously you know it's a toxic pex so it would have had to been uh you know playing to a burn rather than the reliability of haze but yeah no okay he is in fact sword stance so yeah i I'm going to double down on that and say that Jirachi was absolutely the better sack than Toxapex with uh, Chansey gone, because, oh, oh, that's going to be tough. All right, so he's, he's playing to odds now, and I'm getting the crit there is really tough. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, now he's forced out because, um, yeah, that... Uh, that's frustrating because I think that, you know, in making that Pex over Jirachi sack, he severely misplayed. He didn't really recognize the importance of. Okay, never mind. That is a stronger scissor than I gave credit to. Uh, so he must have been invested in some proper way. Nice. And, uh. We're just going to get down to it. Uh, okay. Okay, of course it does. Um. That's really shitty. Um. Well, it can it can be worse. I think that P2 would still have to it would be hard for him not to push it through, but like at the same time though, man, you I hate when people like don't read the long game as they did and get punished. That being said, I am still sticking by the uh, sequence that I touched upon what with uh Zygarde needing or what with uh, Chansey wanting to play a bit longer of a game here. But I digress. Uh, at this point, I think, has his left orb been knocked off? Nah. Um, he could likely just go to, yeah, Ditto here is fine. And he lives. I did not know that, uh, well, I guess it should make sense. I always underestimate Ditto's bulk quote unquote for its low ass HP stat and oh goes for the roost there okay I guess he just roosts again <laughs> yeah that's okay okay that's weird um <laughs> alright yeah I, I think that well yeah if he goes for discharge it potentially sets up a place where uh Toxpex can't burn it which is kind of shitty for him uh weird 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 Oh, but this this does have pressure now, so that does place something out there for uh, burning out PP. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Wait, what's he doing? Yeah, why would he not? What? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing right now. Uh. What a, what an odd choice, um, but okay. Okay, so I recognize what P2 is doing, but I don't understand what Barath is doing right now. Uh, I guess he's just playing off the fact that he it will be tentative to hard switch the Zygarde in, but I think... It might be valuable for P2 just to knock here. Yeah, because uh, at this point, 
what's Torn doing if not trying to knock off one of the leftovers and Jirachi being the least valuable so in this you know exchange oh is he just cutting the bullshit trying well yeah I mean if he doesn't crit then yeah he just wins the game because P2 sits on this so that is a really interesting game. I think that, uh, you know, those two misplays, P2's being a lot less, I guess, hmm, resoundingly atrocious are, you know, worth that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, Jirachi did nothing of value in that end game, and it behooved him to have pecs at many cycles of that. But I digress. Uh... Well played, appreciate it. Glad to see P2 back, because I know that he had a pretty atrocious snake, and I think that it doesn't really uh, give an idea of him as a player, so that's interesting to see. I hope that some of the more cluttered end game of me just fumbling around and being like, uh, I don't like that, I don't like that, was, uh, you know, passable to you. And uh, hopefully I'll be back with some more freaking SPL content. Thank you for watching, guys. Love you. Bye bye